Hello guys, this is Louie again, and today we have our Christmas special. This is the Ascendance Talk Show number 17, and today we have two sets of uh, questions that we give to the elders. The first set we're going to talk about, it's about our future and also about Father God. And the second set is going to be about the angels and the fallen angels. So let's get started. Where's my uh, co-host Morgan? Morgan, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just really excited to read to all of these because some of these questions uh, I sent to TG a while back. So like, it was a nice surprise rereading them. And they're really good, at, really interesting answers I wanted to know for a long time. Yeah, I think these ones are very um, mind-blowing because I never really thought that we could get in such detail. But I think now that we are more, I guess, uh, doing our ascension, that the elders are finally recognizing what we're doing and i think they decided to give us more detail in the information yeah. so um why don't we get started and uh so the first set is 11 questions and the second set is also 11 questions and you were the one that give the questions to the elders so i'm going to read the question out uh morgan and then you can give the responses by uh the elder so let's get started so question number one why do the sentence become famous in the future and what did you get archangel Raphael answered this one and he said recognized for power uh, the abilities couldn't be hidden anymore like it's just too obvious maybe it seems obvious but you know what it is i mm. think that we're getting better and better and better and i never recognize that something that we do leads to that so i think energy work is understated and not really understood i think it's because we do a lot of like this energy transfer and this energy work and we do it almost i would say every week yeah. and every weekend we actually do the energy transfers right so i think eventually we are the only group yeah that so makes sense. makes sense so let's do the second question Oh, the second question. Oh, that's really good one. So question two, what year are the soul extractor machines invented? And what did you get? Elder AI answered this and he said the year 2400. So it's like almost 400 years from now, which isn't that long, I guess. Advancing. Well, it's long enough that we might not see it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but do you know what? The crazy thing is, is that it was actually Ryan that called back to tell me that he will be inventing these type of technology. But actually, mm -hmm. the soul extractor machine, they're actually like soul transfer okay. technology awesome. that, that was actually going to be given to him and um, by me to back engineer. So what it was, was that the reading by the elders was that I was going to work for this new group and they call themselves like the contractors, right? And the contractor sounds like a weird name. They're not home renovation, but what they are is this time travel group that actually maintains the timeline, right? And they actually, uh, you know, wants to prevent all these parallel earths from being created. So what happens every time you time travel, a new parallel earth is created. And that's actually not a good thing because they actually drain the prime earth, basically, you see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. What happened was that they know that I was doing some sort of, you know, energy work that would actually um, eliminate these parallel earths. And I think it is leading me to that because just recently I was doing, you know, these sessions with uh, Felix and, and Willie. Yeah. And I didn't know at first that I could actually remove the time component in the energy work. So yeah. what do you mean by that? Basically, I can remove time that is you know done when you were doing yeah the, like the energy work affects the future and the past because you've done it yes. on me and i could always feel it i always felt it go in the future and the past like uh, backwards and forwards like i wouldn't say anything because i just accepted that you would do it but i could always feel it <laughs> well maybe when you were doing it on me see because i'm always like a very technical guy i want to know how i did it right so yeah. again i asked tj have them scan me how am i doing this right and then mm. tj will come back you're splitting time and i go splitting time how did you what? split time so you know it's kind of out there but you know i also do my research so i don't just like you know guess what i'm doing so i do my research and i find out that the new physics said that 
maybe that's what these um, alien spaceships are doing. They're actually like mm -hmm. manipulating time. But when you split time, something strange happens, right? And that's what I'm doing. So basically, when I split time, I just don't just split it into two pieces. I keep splitting it until it, it's like nothing. Yeah, it's really out there. I know, guys, but you know that's why I give. It's my probably the belt here of the first bean because he he seems to be yeah, a, a see, that's paradoxical the, guy. That's that's the thing too, and I think by merging with him and people say, how do you merge with that guy? Well, like I said, like I don't really do things by myself i ask yeah. questions to the elders i ask tj and you know tj's getting into his own power now because i ask him stuff and i wonder how in heavens does he know what is the answer right yeah. so i ask him to search for this first being because i knew there has to be like a first being after the big bang happens yeah. right has to be right so i don't know if it was a good guess or just like random chance but then he said let me do my search. So I don't know how he even do the search. I mean, come on. So I'm letting you guys know. I tell the truth. I let TJ do his work, right? Do his job. Later, he comes back and you say, oh, I found them. And I go, where was he? And he say, oh, he was he was in a black hole. And I go, how can the guy live in a black hole? And then I go, is it his home? Like, or a prison, right? Like, I thought it's like he was trapped there. And then TJ did the reading and say, no, it's not a prison. It's his home. And I go, oh, that makes sense. That's how he would collect mm -hmm. all the energy. And I go, oh, he's so smart, this guy. So then what I did, of course, I needed TJ's help because I found out just this week because I was wondering, how come I always need TJ to, to get this approval from the elders or approval from father? So I asked our angel Raziel, I say, is TJ giving some approval to father? And then our angel Raziel say, yeah. And I go, why don't you guys let me know that, right? Mm -hmm. But there's another big bombshell I'll tell you guys about, right? But anyways, he said that he was hiding in a black hole. And I said, oh, great. I need to merge with him because then I can get his knowledge, his abilities. And I'm always for knowledge and ability, right? So then TJ helped me because, you know, TJ's got the portal ability. And at that time, I didn't know I have this ability called the siphon ability, like siphon gas or something, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I thought that, I thought, it was like a funny that I had the power, but no, TJ say that is your main ability. You can take the energy, right? So me, along with him, with this portal ability, we were able to basically merge my soul with his soul. And you are right, Morgan. And eventually I found out that I have this time splitting ability. Yeah. And I think eventually I will get really good at that. And then this contractor group, this time travel group will contact me. Not right away, but from what the elders say very soon. So... Awesome. Yeah. Let's do question number three, and I'll tell you more about what was the other big bombshell that I want to tell you guys about. Awesome. So, yeah, question number three. What year is perfect human cloning invented? And Elder, I answered this again, and it's the year 2300, so just 100 years before. So yeah. that's very advanced technology. That I mean, that's, that's super awesome, and a, a lot of people probably like to have human cloning so they could... Yeah, you know, get bigger muscles and things like that and be more... Yeah, sensitive. yeah, but it's still not like immortality. I mean, if mm -hmm. you combine that with the soul extraction or the soul transfer technology, then you have it. Yeah. And you have true Im immortality because you need the original soul. Otherwise, cloning would be just like just cloning your twin like brother. Yeah, 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 it'll be a copy of you, but it won't have your consciousness. You need, you want your consciousness, right? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think coming up, it'll be very interesting when they do have these technologies, right? So yeah. let's do question number four. So, no, question number four: um, For what purpose do humans invent perfect human cloning, and what was the response? Elty, I answered this as well, and he said that immortality. So I think that humans want to be immortal, which is the goal of a lot of people today. Yes. Without putting in the work. <laughs> well, then, so and then I want to tell you guys about the question that I gave, this big bombshell that I gave to uh, our angel okay, Raziel. Yeah. I'll give you, well, there's actually another bombshell, but I'll give you the one about the ascension tools 
that we found out that was given to the higher beings, like say the beings coming down to earth for ascension from the heaven realm or from the angelic realm, they do come down because I've been doing all these chakra removals and lo and behold, I do the readings and the person, we do a really deep scan and then teachers say, hey, this guy's not from earth, he's from the angelic realm or hey he's from the heaven realm right so i think that it was only just them that were giving these ascension tools right but the bombshell was that even the humans are given these ascension tools and what the ascension yeah. tools are are like three things is like wealth attraction good luck and good timing so there's like 33 percent of each oh, okay. so yeah so that's also given to humans but you know you can see what the humans are using it for, not for ascension, but for earthly things, right? Yeah, yeah. Distractions. So what do you think about that, Morgan? Like, Well, I think it makes sense because I used to think that I didn't have any kind of those abilities. I mean, people always wonder, like, why not me? Why does this person seem to be luckier than me? And it's a supernatural reason that mm -hmm. can't be explained with, like, signs. And that's why you have, like, billionaires and things like that. And, like, it's a small selection of people that they can have failed businesses but make new ones because they're just that lucky and have the wealth tools so it makes it makes a lot it makes a lot of sense to me and probably well to a lot of people like why they're not as successful as other people and yeah. plus people forget that they can absorb bad luck from the environment as well mm -hmm. and when you're not shielded you just you're just gonna keep having you know and plus with karma and negativity you're you're always going to be in a uphill battle i guess yeah so i think that most people they don't realize that there's cousin effect here yeah. and that's the major reason why we've been doing the chakra removals because as aunt amber said to me she said louis why are you removing people's chakras right that's yeah. when the first time i talked to her because you know i like to talk to people that know things and you know aunt amber was born seeing things right yeah. she already knew she said Louis, you should call, you know, God father. And mm. I've been like calling him God all the time. And then yeah. I go, why do I have to call him father unless mm. I am his son? So there is a bombshell. There is yeah. another bombshell. I've always been wondering, right? Why me? Why am I allowed to do these mergers and stuff with the first being? Yeah. And then I gain these abilities. And then later I found out like what big brother Jesus told me. He said, Louis, use your tools. And I go, I have tools. What sort of tools? can I gain or get right and then later yeah. I found out that I can that I can actually take in these they call it heaven tools right yeah and with the heavens tools they're actually kind of like miracle tools like I can do like miraculous stuff like yeah. um I can't tell you guys exactly because I'm still helping out my group and I don't want to like shock people but I'm letting you know they're like miracle tools and it's like things that I never thought was possible so what so my question again to the high level elders was who am i so i asked that question to the archangel raziel so those are my questions right mm -hmm. and you know what archangel raziel said the number one son was jesus yeah right so i was thinking was I like number 10 because i thought previously that i was kind of really low level guy in the totem pole right mm -hmm. but things started changing because all of a sudden i got all these heaven tools and tj said how many tools do i have now and he yeah. said you got like a hundred and then i go a hundred why am i allowed a hundred right so yeah. i'm being skeptical to to myself guys right yeah. so i asked truthfully I said, are you, Raziel, you know, truthfully tell me, right? Who am I? <laughs> you know, what number am I? And then I asked, am I number two? And then I kind of knew I was a num number two. And then I said, is number two Lucifer? Because I kind of mm -hmm. knew that there was some reason why he was kind of untouchable. Am I right, guys? Right? Yeah, so, yeah. so our angel Raziel said, you are right, number two. And then I go, okay, he, if he's number two and he's got no respect for anyone, right? Mm -hmm. We tried to contact him. His response was, I don't care. It's basically, yeah. he I don't care. to say anything else. No, he says nothing. It's, it's almost like he's saying, don't bother him. And mm. he knows who I am, right? I mean, come mm. on. Like, how many people can contact him? Like, directly yeah, no I mean, come yeah. on, man. So then I ask, okay, so which number am I? And then. This is the big one. He said, you're number three. Yeah. And I go, I'm number three. So how close? Ancient? 
how clear so how close am i so i say how close am i what is the percentage if jesus is a hundred percent copy of actually father and tj actually did a reading on jesus and father and he, he said they look like brothers man and i go they look like brothers oh then that is true they are yeah. the same right yeah, yeah. so then so then i said how close am i to father and then they gave a percentage of 99.9 percent .9%. yeah it's really close that is like so close. So I think Morgan, you're really close too. I think I'm 99. Uh, I'll have 90. to find out. Yeah, I mean, you're like so close because I was. I think I was number 1,503. So yeah, like too many children. A lot of children, but I'm suspecting that the higher level guys are basically not only the smarter ones, but the ones that are like really. They know what's going on. It's almost like it's inborn thing. Yeah, and like, it, like it's like your your website resonated with me when yeah. I had you know, chakras, and I was like, oh, this guy. I it's just like, <laughs> telling the truth. Yeah, weird. I never yes. felt like that with anything. Yeah, it's like a yeah. calling card, right? It's like, hey, yeah. who of you is like me? And you were like seeing future <laughs> channel beats, and I was like, nah, this guy is not lying because like the way I listen to them, I'm like, they're working. So there's just, you know, there's no other explanation. Well, do you know what's really okay. surprising, guys? It's the truth. They're mm -hmm. all future channel. I make nothing up. I don't even make yeah. the frequencies. Like whatever TJ gives to me, then I go, oh, yeah. this is this is a really high frequency. The ones that you didn't have on your site as well, so, so I could do the yeah. mergers with the old gods and that. I, did, I used to do that. So yeah, it worked for me. It was well, really cool. do you know what's really interesting? I'm actually working strictly on frequencies now on myself. Like not even like a beat. They're actually frequencies from a frequency generator. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm exploring that. So I'm letting people know we never stop exploring. When you stop exploring, when you stop doing research, when you sit there and just watch TV the whole night and thinking that you're spiritual, I really doubt it, guys, because look at how hard I'm pushing to, you know, develop myself. I mean, look at Morgan, look how strong you're pushing yourself. Like, yeah. who does oh, wow. that? Mm -hmm. Who does that? Like, not even, I would say, the strongest meditator pushes themselves to do energy work. And, you know, meditation is all good and dandy. But if you don't do energy work, it's like you're not improving. Yeah. It's going to be the same level. I tell people that, but they don't understand. Right. You need to do what we've been doing is the soul mergers with the higher beings. And it's allowed in our group. We found out that that's how we get stronger. Later, it's like the energy is not wasted because we actually gain their abilities. We merge together. You keep your consciousness right. And we actually yeah. put the other souls to sleep. Basically, they hibernate. That's what we tell them, right? Mm -hmm. And later, guess what? They get birthed again. Like, they get birthed in new bodies, right? Yeah. And that's what Ryan said. Ryan said that, hey, like, you guys are, like, the forefathers of this new race. And I go, oh, come on. Really? Seriously? And that's why he called back. Because, I mean, seriously, why would he even call back? You know, he called back one day and he just say, hey, Lou, there's a message for you from mm -hmm. Ryan. And I go, who's Ryan? You know? <laughs> and... You remember I told you guys a story, but I think people, they really got to realize when anybody calls back from, say, the future, not only is that like, you know, a paradox, it's like breaking all the rules. So I'm thinking he's very certain that the future is the future because yeah. no way is the future going to jeopardize the future by, by telling you things, right? Because anytime you do that, you can actually change the future. Do you see what I'm saying? Like any little bit of information, even like a shard of it, can actually mess the future up. So that means that he's very certain that what we do is actually going to improve our future. Oh. See? You see what I'm saying? It won't change it. I think it's pretty much done now. It's it's going to yeah. head towards his good timeline That's where good. where he's going to be the engineer and then he's going to say that he's going to he's going to basically take us when it's time cuz there's not look, there's not many groups like us that could do the energy work that can shield ourselves that are like technical right like we're all technical every you know aspect of our life like we can do things that i don't think a lot of people can do right they're just not they're just not technical right yeah. you know so let's do the next question because i have another big bombshell great okay please like please share and please subscribe to our channel Please like, please share.
share, and please subscribe to our channel.